Hello, everybody, and welcome to Professor P's podcast. I'm Natasha Palumbo, aka Professor P. I'm known for evoking the essence of spirituality by bringing the energetic fire, activating the mind, and speaking the truth. I'm so honored that you are here with us today. I thank you for joining. This podcast is focused on entrepreneurship, empowerment, and energetics. You're going to find a wealth of information inside, guest speakers, and the elixir, a dose of energetic power. So let us join in on today's podcast. Welcome everyone to the very first episode of Professor P's podcast. I am so excited and honored that you are with me today. We are starting with the signature to my show, Elixir, and I could not have a more fitting title. Vision far enough to see, patience enough to wait for the vision to come to pass. Mastery. How many times have you had a vision? Let's just talk about vision for a minute. Who has a vision? Raise their hand. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, I see you. I see you right there. Now, what's it been like waiting for that vision? Have you had enough patience to wait for it? Did it die along the way? Do you feel like it might have disappeared? Because you know, sometimes that happens. I have had a vision for this podcast for years. It was actually spoken over my life. What about that? Have you ever had something spoken over your life and it hit your spirit and you knew and you caught wind of that vision, but before you knew it, time was passing, passing and passing. Do you grow weary with your patience of waiting? Is it just me? It Maybe it's just me. No, I bet you do too. Listen, I'm here to encourage you though today. I'm here to encourage you in your vision. And all of you, I want you to hold right now for this little short dosage of time to get you all this energy I can to help ignite that vision again for you and to help ignite your patience in waiting for it. Because there's a preciseness with vision. There is an importance of order and timing. It's all relevant. Nothing is wasted. Everything in its appointed time. Remember the vision. Though it may tarry, it will always arrive on time. I always like to use the analogy and the story of a medical student. You know, there's medical students and they have to go for pre-med. You, I might be talking to a medical student right now and you may be able to understand or, or going for a class. Anybody who's going for a class, it is Professor P's show, right? So I know I've got some students here today. And you're taking all these prerequisite classes, right? So the, the prereq for the med is coming and all of a sudden the student, they failed a class. And their entire schedule is off. The whole vision now looks like it's askewed. But here's what's really happening behind the scenes. Because you know, God is always working behind the scenes and everything is divinely ordered and our steps are ordered for the reason and the season. What's happening is the person who is going to have the heart attack that this medical student who becomes a doctor is appointed to heal is a semester behind. <laughs> Which means the person who's going to medical school has to be a semester behind because they have to graduate just on time because the person's heart, you see how everything is divinely orchestrated, how it all ties in. But I understand that dreams and visions have a way of disappearing over time. But everyone has dreams. God has a dream and a vision for each of us. He drops them in our spirit and in today gives us a look at tomorrow. When God gives you a dream or a vision, it will always have to do with other people. Thus the heart attack and the doctor, the saving of the lives. You're a person God gives and sends out. This is why you're going to thrive. Don't let your dreams die in the cube farm and don't let the short cubes fool you either. They're a farm too. The poorest people in the world are the ones without a dream or a vision. 
Let God stop you so he can send you. And don't worry, he will strengthen you and he will certainly stretch you. I am a living witness that it will all be worth it. Step even if you do not see the ground beneath you. If you step, he will give you something to place your feet on. But it's up to you to believe enough to take the step. And to continue to take the steps as the vision begins to unfold before you. Remember everything in a precise timing. I want you to wait and wait with confidence as this vision prepares for you the place of your coming. Wait with patience and confidence. Learn to love and cherish the gifts of the unknown. The unknown carries opportunity, knowledge, potential, and reward. I need you to step into there often. With consistency of purpose, curiosity, confidence, courage, cheer, certainty of intentions, this is all good stuff. Do not hold back any longer. Continue to step in. Continue to write your vision and make it plain. Before you can write, though, I need to activate your imagination even to a greater notch. And I'm asking today that your imagination allows complete freedom within you. Run with your imagination because it's also time to not only wait for the vision, but to create new vision and to continue this cycle of vision and waiting, vision and waiting, vision and waiting waiting for it precise and continue to plant the seeds. Remember, it is never about the harvest. The harvest is undeniable when the seeds are planted. And there is purpose in waiting, my friends. Waiting renews our strength, refines our character, and refocuses our purpose. Waiting is one of God's greatest tools for strength. But you want to know what the hard part of waiting is? Hope. Hope that it will actually come to pass. Don't give up. What you want most in life is for something you think you want now. But that's not the case. What you desire is still forthcoming. That vision is coming. And I'm here to encourage you. Everything in its precise timing. See, you weren't ready to hear this podcast until now. You weren't ready to get activated by my voice until now. I wasn't ready for you until now, but I'm ready for you now. I'm so grateful for you now that you're showing up to receive now the activation. Sometimes the delayed gratification is hard to deal with. Have you ever heard of delayed gratification? See, in vision, we have some delayed gratification. But it requires that you wait. You know you deserve to wait. Have you ever even thought about that, that you deserve to wait? Have you ever imagined that you could deserve to wait? In a society where everything is fast and in a hurry, we oftentimes want things to be Take, we just want them to take place right now, fast, right now. I need it right now. But we deserve better. <sighs> we deserve to wait. For only in waiting can we appreciate and receive the best. Some of you may be waiting on the vision of your heart's desire. Keep waiting because at just the right time, God will knock your socks off. Have you ever had your socks knocked off by God? Come on, at least one time. Somebody out there at least one time has had their socks knocked off by God. Well, I'm here to tell you he's going to do it again and again and again and again. The mastery is to wait with confidence, with expectation, already knowing that the vision is coming, that there is an appointed time When your desire and your faith meet within your heart in complete and perfect agreement to bring forth the vision 
I'm going to say that again. There is an appointed time when your desire and your faith meet within your heart. Oh yes, you're receiving it. I can feel you. I feel you right now. I can see you right now. I can feel you receiving it right now. There is an appointed time when your desire and your faith meet within your heart in complete and perfect agreement to bring forth the vision of good you have dreamed of yet wondered whether you were worthy enough, ready enough, faithful enough to receive. I'm here to tell you, you are. I'm here to tell you that the appointed time is coming. Do not lose your hope. That's the hardest part of waiting. Remember, I told you that. I'm here to encourage you today. Don't lose your hope. There is an appointed time when your desire and your faith meet within your heart in complete and perfect agreement to bring forth the vision of good you have dreamed of yet wondered whether you are worthy. I'm here to tell you you're worthy. You have intrinsic value. There is no past, present, or future event that will ever dictate your value. There is no dollar amount, no career amount that ever will come to terms with the value you are. You are worthy because you are worthy when you are ready enough, when you're faithful enough to receive it. Are you ready? Get ready. I'm here to pump you up today to tell you to get ready, baby. Get ready, get ready, get ready. I need you to get ready today. I need you to ignite that vision. I need you to go to that vision board. I need you to come bury it out. And I want you to remember, continue to have that patience. It's coming. And here's the last thing I'm going to leave you with. Everything from scripture to metaphysics to Dr. Wayne Dreyer to Joe Dispenza to new age, old age. I don't care what you say because I rooted back to the word. You get the vision or better. So right now I'm going to give you something to think about because that's what I told you I'd do. I'm Professor P and I want you to think now. I want you to close your eyes with me and I want you to muster up that vision you've been waiting for. That vision so far out that you're wondering if you'll have enough patience to reach it? That one right there. Bring that vision in right now. Bring it in. Yes. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Bring that vision in. Come on, bring it. Swirl it around, swirl it around, swirl it around, swirl it around. Guess what, baby? You get that or better. Like I said, no matter where you pull it from in the journey of knowledge out here in this world, no matter what resource, it all boils back down to the original word. You get the vision or better. Do not default on your better in your waiting period. Do not default on it. Because you think the vision isn't really coming to pass. What is happening behind the scenes is God is making it better. Continue to wait in faith and expectation. Because remember, there is an appointed time when your desire and your faith meet within your heart in complete and perfect agreement to bring forth the vision of good you have dreamed of yet wondered whether you are worthy enough, ready enough, faithful enough to receive it. I want you to know today I have come to activate your vision and to enhance your ability to wait with great expectation. You are safe to surrender to the process. You get the vision or better, baby. Say it with me. I get the vision or better. And the one thing I know, the dice of life will toss you a no time and time again in this world. No, 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 no. But I want you to pick up those dice and I want you to shake them up in your hand and I want you to spit on them if you have to. And I want you to throw them back at this world and say, my yes is undeniable. My yes is undeniable. My vision is undeniable. And I will wait with great expectation. I will wait with faith for the appointed time for it to come to pass. My yes is far more powerful and purposeful than any no that I will ever receive in this world, in this time, because my yes is undeniable. Now say it with me. My yes 
is undeniable and it is far more powerful and purposeful than any no I will ever receive. There is an appointed time when your desire and your faith meet within your heart in complete and perfect agreement to bring forth the vision. Wait on it. Thanks everyone for listening today. I hope you received a lot out of that episode and are feeling energized and ready for whatever lies ahead. If you did enjoy it, I'd appreciate it if you'd share it out. Thank you in advance for doing so. Please also connect with me on social media, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, Natasha M. Palumbo. And until next time, be encouraged, be empowered, and as always, be well.